Hi everyone. My name is Cristóbal Gallardo. I'm member of the European Galaxy Group and in this training I'll show you how to create a galaxy wrapper from zero. For this tutorial it's recommended to have basic knowledge of the Linux command line and Git. This training is organized in four main sections. In the first part, we'll set up the Conda environment. In the second part, we'll create the Galaxy Tool Wrapper by using Planemo and the Galaxy Language Server. In the third part, we'll test the Galaxy Wrapper by using Planemo and Galaxy. And finally, I'll show you how to publish the Galaxy wrapper in a public repository. So, let's start with the first step. Set up the content environment. Conda is an open source, closed platform, package manager and environment management system. It allows to automate the process of installing, updating and removing package. In addition, Conda allows to create separate environments containing files, package and their dependency that will not interact with other environments. So, let's install Conda. In our case, we are using Linux, so we need to copy this command, paste in the command line, and now execute the bash script. So, press enter, accept the license, accept the localization, Okay, and no. Now we'll set up Bioconda, a popular Conda channel for bioinformatics software, which provides multiple software distribution for computational biology. So let's copy this code and paste in the command line. Ok. So let's check if Conda works. It seems that it's correctly installed. So let's start with the second step. Create the Galaxy Tool Wrapper. Now, we need to download one of the public Galaxy to Wrapper repositories. In our case, we are going to use the Galaxy Tools repository hosted by Björn Gronin. I suggest you to have a look at the realme because it contains quite a lot of information regarding the development of Galaxy tools. Such for example, it explains how to create a Conda package, also it provides some details about different Galaxy tools repositories and yeah. So we need to fork this repository and now we need to copy the address and 
clone the repository. This is the repository that we'll use for publishing our wrapper once it's uh, finished. Okay, so let's let's access the repository. Let's access the tool folder. If we have a look at the content, we can see many different tools and. In that folder, we create a wrapper. So, the next step is to install Planemo. Planemo is a complex command line tool whose functions include facilitating the development of Galaxy tools. For example, the planemo lint command allows us to validate the XML files in order to identify common problems. Planemo also allows to generate a graphical interface of a local Galaxy instance, which is very useful during the development of tools. Ok, so Let's install Planemo. We need to run the command pip3 install Planemo. Ok, perfect. So let's check. It seems that works. Ok. In order to illustrate this tutorial, we are going to create a wrapper for a useful tool called SecTQ. Among the functionalities of this tool are the conversion of FastQ files into FASTA. Ok, so first let's check if the contact package for this tool is available. We need to run the command conda search sec tq. Yeah, just a few seconds. Perfect, the contact package is available. So now we should create a new environment in order to avoid conflicts with other previously installed tools. So agree, and now we need to activate the environment. The next step is to install the contact package of the SIG TQ tool. So it seems that have been installed correctly. Perfect. Now we need to create a new folder for the sec tq tool and we are going to initialize the galaxy wrapper by using the command 
planemo tool init it will generate the basic content so we need to use the option macros id equal sec tq sec name convert to fasta the requirement is set Q sec tq version 1.3 now example command we are going to provide a very simple command now we are going to provide an example input an example output one dot fasta that information will see later it's very useful for initializing the tool wrapper and finally we need to provide the command for the help section okay so we see planemo have created two files and a new folder now we need to set up the galaxy language server The Galaxy language server is an implementation of the language server written in Python to assist in the development of Galaxy tool wrappers. We are going to use the Visual Studio Code extension of the Galaxy language server. This extension provides XML validation tags and attributes, completion, and other extremely useful features. In the readme file, the different features are described, so I recommend you to have a look at it. Okay, so let's open the files created by Planemo with Visual Studio Code here we have the macros XML and the main file so in order to install the extension we need to click in the marketplace look for the Galaxy Tools and install perfect so now we can start writing the wrapper when writing very simple tools macro xml files are not necessary at all however it's highly recommended to use xml macros when writing complex tools in order to reduce duplicated XML elements. In the main XML file, we can distinguish five main sections. The common section, input section, outputs, test, and the help section. Okay, so now the first step is to set the correct format 
and now we are going to create the input elements so we need to here we see in the help section each parameter includes the type of variable and a description we'll use that information for creating the element so by using the galaxy language server we just need to type gx and select the correct type and just we can move between the different fields by using the tabular key we need to fill each field with the information provided by the tool in that case we just need to use the information from the help section in other cases perhaps you need to you need to have a look at the tool repository but in that case it's not necessary at all so we are going to create a few inputs now we are going to create one more a boolean gx now we need to type the argument the fault key fault value should be empty check it false now the label label mark complement and in the help section we are going to include the information effective with minus m okay so you just need to continue and and create the rest of the option but we'll skip that so let's do some magic voila now we'll use other of the features of the galaxy language tool in order to generate the command section so we need to click in view and we need to select generate commands perfect now we need to we need to pay attention at the order so we see that the option should be before the inputs and the outputs we need to remove that option and move the input file and the output files at the end of the command section so perfect now we are going to create the test section test require input data and one uh, simple approach consists in look look for data sets in the repository so 
we can use that one we are going to copy this fastq file in our test data folder we'll rename it as dataset 01.fastq and here it is okay now we have an input dataset next step we are going to generate an output from this input dataset with this simple command this is required for the test section okay perfect now we have the input dataset and the output dataset so now we can check how many lines the size of the output dataset that information also it's useful for creating the test okay so now we are going to auto generate the scaffold of the test section by using of the other of the features of the galaxy language server in that case we need to select generate test and here it is the test have been auto generated so it requires some minimal modification we can write a comment test 0 1 default parameters here in the input parameter we need to type the input dataset that we have previously copied and we are going to set the minus a parameter as true and in that case we are we are going to use the also the previous information in order to fill the assertions and we are going to remove a few lines which are not required at all in that case and also we are, we are going to provide the expected output size which is 430 bytes and delta which is the variation the random variation we are going to set that as 10 and okay so now we have this test is done so now we are going to create a second test in order to show you a different way of creating a test in that case we won't use a session but we provide the output file that we have previously generated so value is test 01.fasta and the expected file type file type is uh, fasta okay so this is done
uh, before running the test we are going to include some additional information for example the citation is also necessary so the easiest way is just to use uh, a paper uh, related with our tools copy the DOI and we just need to paste the DOI in that web page it will generate the pip text citation we just need to create a new element citation type pip text and paste the pip text reference okay so now we are going to create a few additional elements one of them is the tool version which is very useful in order to make easier to update the tools when necessary also we are going to create an element called version suffix so now we need to replace the version with this token okay and also in the main xml file we need to replace the version with the tool version token plus galaxy version suffix and also we need to provide the profile which is the required galaxy version the minimum uh, galaxy version for running that tool okay and the, the last element that we need to include in our wrapper is the biotools element biotools is a web portal for tools registry and service monitoring information and the use of idam for precise scientific tool description the information stored in the biotool registry will be used uh, in galaxy in order to classify the, the tools according with their function so this is also an important tag so we, we just need to look for our tool in the database let's see okay there exists an entry for this tool that's perfect so let's pack so we just need to create a new xml element xml name via tools x gx and we just need to type the name of the tool and finally we need to expand this macro in the main xml file okay so we can start with the first step with the first section which is the testing of the galaxy wrapper before running the test we can validate the the wrapper with the command planemo l and now we are going to move to the root folder and we are going to download the 
Galaxy Repository. The reason for downloading the Galaxy Repository is that Planemo use Galaxy to run the test. So, if we don't have the Galaxy Repository in our system, Planemo will download the repository every time we run the test. So, we need to copy the SSH address and git clone and paste the address. So now the repository is being downloaded. Just be patient. It can take a few minutes. Okay, so perfect. Now let's go back the folder which contains the wrapper and we can run the test with the command planemo t galaxy root we need to specify the path of the galaxy repository and update test data Now we are running the test that we created a few minutes ago. That first Planemo requires to download uh, some dependencies. Okay, it's now test are running. Okay, perfect. Both test pass it. So we can have a look at the report generated by by Planemo. So it includes the information information such as the command line and the value of the different parameters. This report are extremely useful for debugging. So now after running the test, the next step is to launch a local galaxy instance in order to check 
if the tool interface is correct. This is very useful in order to identify uh, misspellings or typos also to use the Galaxy interface is uh, quite useful for debugging and for developing the tool. So once again we are going to use the Galaxy repository that we have downloaded previously okay just few seconds okay so the web interface of the local galaxy instance is running so we just need to copy this address and paste in the browser so here is this is the the tool wrapper as you can see it seems quite fine you can with by using the web interface you can easily identify problems in the labels for example also let's try to to run the tool by using the web interface so we are going to upload the input dataset that which is inside the test data folder here is dataset 01 start okay so here is input data set we can modify some of the parameters and run Now we can check the outputs and compare the inputs and the outputs. Here yep, we can see the FastQ file have been converted in FASTA format. Okay. Then we can close the web interface and we can move to the fourth step which is publish the wrapper. Planemo can be used to publish repositories to the toolsheet. It requires to create a special file called sheet.yml. In that case, we'll use the command planemo sheet init. The shed file will be used to map the files to the toolsheet. So we need to run the command planemo shed init name name of the tool owner in that case since we are using Galaxy Tools repository the owner is your running description, a short description of the tool, and long description. So, for example, tool for converting 
fastq files into fasta files and finally in category which in that case that case is fasta manipulation okay so let's have a look at the file you can see it is a very simple file okay so let's have a look now we need to add the content so also we need to create a new branch of this repository it check out now we need to commit the chains in this new branch git commit minus m and up to files and we are going to push a wrapper to the repository which we forked previously so we just need to click in compare and pull request you need to provide a meaningful title for example a tool sectq and include a description so for example this PR include the CTQ tool so that's all the last step is just create the pull request against the Galaxy Tools repository so this is the end of the training. I hope you enjoy. Bye.